You're a f***ing baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You such a baby! Because you, the f*** up, Because you Johnny. start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because to get the f*** out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You're admirable. Whoa, how's it going everybody but y'all Justice for Johnny Depp is trending on Twitter right now because of an audio tape that was released that is a recording of a fight between Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard. And in this audio recording, it is completely clear as day that it was Amber Heard that has been the one that has been the abusive, narcissistic, manipulative, destructive force in their marriage. And Johnny Depp is trying to keep his cool as much as possible. And her main argument that she's yelling at him about throughout the entire recording is that every time their arguments get heated, he leaves leaves. He splits. And Johnny Depp is like, yeah, well, you know, if you start hitting me, I have to leave. I have to exit myself from the scenario. And she starts arguing that that makes him weak and that it makes her strong because she's willing to stay and fight. But she's physically hitting him. And he's like, I have to leave. So this recording goes on for almost an hour and it kind of meanders around and hits some other scenarios and past arguments that you don't really have context for. So what I have here, I made a condensed version that's only 15 minutes long that really hits all the main points of the argument and is easy to digest and understand. And what we're going to do is play a little game with this. I know it's in bad taste to play a game with this type of audio and it is, but let's be fair. Okay. Johnny Depp has been dragged through the mud for a long time for being the abuser, for being depicted in the depositions by Amber Heard as a tyrant and would be physically abusive, but it's clear from this recording that none of that is true, that she is the one that was projecting all of those issues of her onto Johnny Depp. So here's the game that we're going to be playing. I'm going to tell you the top five manipulative, narcissistic, argumentative techniques that abusers use when they're having an argument with somebody. And when you recognize one that Amber's doing, go down to the comments and tell me. Number one is gaslighting. Number two is projection. Number three is generalizations. Number four is moving the goalposts. And number five is changing the subject. And I think Amber Heard uses all of them in this recording. So if you recognize one, let me know down in the comments where you think you found it. We gotta change how we do things, and I want to trust you. And I feel like all the trust is gone. All the trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You. Fucking... What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. We're on a plane. I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it at me, like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I've when I go into the other room, you say. And getting me a room, I mean, getting another room in a hotel is just the same thing. When did I get another room at hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. It's chronic. It happens all the time. And if you do it to go into another room, you do it and you get dressed. You were f***ing screaming at me. I'm not going to validate my actions last night. I feel very bad. No, I'm talking in Toronto. I, I did not start screaming until you had and said all the shit you poke an animal enough it is eventually doesn't matter how friendly it is how cool. so i have not done this to you i have not said these things to you okay. i have not started the fight by saying That's i'm gonna it. get another room and That's i'm it. not gonna sit here and fight about fucking toronto anymore guess what i let it go i'm not talking about i'm not fucking talking about toronto I can, me the tapes. I can whisper it i can write it guess what i'm not saying another fucking word about Toronto. I am so sick and tired of fighting about old fights. This is not about a fight. This is broad. This is a broad thing. And if I'm telling you every single time you get dressed and you fucking split the top of a fight, you never fucking try and work it out. You never fight for me. You never come to me. You never self-calm. You never self-soothe. You are never the one to throw the olive branch. I'm sick and tired of it. It needs to fucking change. And you can go, I can't meet those demands. I can't do it. Or you can promise me so I have a modicum of safety I feel a modicum of respect a little tiny shit sliver of fucking like you are in this whether it is good or bad whether it is good or bad down and up lows and highs tough and easy I have no fucking consistency no safety no security the relationship is something 
me is something you don't fight for, you don't stand up for, you always run from when it's tough. I, I'm telling you, I need, I need promises that this is important to you, not when it's easy, when it's hard too. If this is something you'll fight for. If I split on you, all those times that I thought about doing it, we would not be here. And I stayed, and it's tougher. You know, that's stronger. I'm stronger. It is easy to run. It is easy to run away from problems. It is easy to take that out and say, well, that's the easiest. That, I mean, that's the best, safest. That's the safest way out. I'm not saying we should get in physical altercations. I never want to be in that. Never. But every time you don't like what I say and you can run away, will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't, it's easy. It's, it's, it's not brave, it's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I wanna work this out. I wanna face what I have. I wanna face what you have. I wanna work it out with you. You're not working it out. You're running away and then you make me be the bigger person every single time and come to you and knock on the door and come to this house and say, Hey, we're married. It's supposed to be sacred. Calm I down. Calm you. down. I made you. Yes, by default. If you're never the one to do it, one of us is. And I'm the one to do it every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship. And you get to be not... You get to be lazy. You get to be cowardly. I don't and know what, what it is. What are you here for? What do you need me for? Once again, I am fighting for the relationship. I With a want... guy that you don't trust or like? Why? I did not say I didn't like you. I love you. You're my favorite person in the world. I don't see how. I, I remember what I said at the beginning. I'm sorry you feel like you can't imagine it, but I said this to you at the beginning of this conversation. I said you're the, my favorite person in the whole world. If you weren't the most magnetic, shiny, beautiful, interesting, dynamic person I had ever met in my life, it would be so easy to walk away from this bratty thing that you untrustworthy. do. Untrustworthy. Uh, um, uh, Did you hear what I just said? I said I can't trust. I can't trust. That's not meaning you're untrustworthy. It means that we've created a situation. And I'm telling you what you do to create it too. We've created a situation in which there, it, there cannot, trust can't grow. It's like, it's trampled every single time. And we need a marriage. That's why I sat down. Do you not remember me sitting down at the very beginning of this conversation and saying just that to you? Say, I know you got married for security and for safety. So did I. We did not get married because it was something that we're, doing you know for because it was something we could walk away we wanted the state the foundation no i want yes i wanted to make you my wife I yes want. yes but you could just have me as your girlfriend if you didn't want the foundation and you told me and maybe you go back on it now fine okay cool lie about that i don't know you told me you wanted a foundation you told me you wanted the security you wanted the safety you liked the foundation at the beginning you said i really like having that it of feels course. safe so of don't course. argue with me when i say it now i'm not arguing with you Oh, yeah, but you had to pick it apart. By saying because I loved you and you're my wife? I wanted you to be my wife? That's picking it apart? No. Then how did I pick it apart? No, I, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight about a fight. I want to fight about the semantics. I don't want to how come when I come up with a point, you can't answer it? You don't want, or suddenly you don't want to answer it? What am I not answering? Because I don't want to fight about this new thing? No, I don't want to. I said you wanted the safety and security, and you stopped me. You interrupted me, and then you said, "What?" Because I we, 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 no, because I wanted to have you I as my. I didn't interrupt you. You asked me, right? You said right. I meant you interjected. I meant you said. You said. How about that? See now, is this better? I answered you. I addressed what you're saying. Now, can we please not fight about that? And I said, because I love you. I said loved. My whole point that you had, a, I don't know, an issue with is that you love me. Yes, you married me, though, because you wanted sa some safety, some security, some stability, a foundation. Of course I want that with you. It's why I married you. But I need the safety. I need the security. I need the boundaries. And I think you... I Could need, you not agree? I need this. I need the same things. So I. But when you start flipping out, and I can't get a word in, and it's and it's you know manic and angry. Well, what the fuck, Amber? I get angry. I get. I'm human. Just 
if you think I'm some fucking tyrant or bully, then don't fucking be with me. But don't sit here and insult me like I have a f- I'm the fuck up because I have the but you're audacity the one to get saying me. that I'm the tyrant and the bully and the and at the same time the the, the guy that, that runs bully. away and you the are you run away every single fight. Okay, so, I mean, then what are you then I'm not doing lying with me? about it. Then what are you doing with me? I already answered that. I already said that we went through this conversation literally five minutes ago. I answered this already five minutes you ago. You just said to me that I shouldn't be with you. No, I said if That's you... I feel. No, I said if I'm some, you know, harping bully, which is what you make me sound like. Like, I'm, like, constantly on you, making you feel bad. That's because that's what I do. And then you ignore everything. You take me for granted. You're ignoring everything that I do for you. You make me sound terrible. You talk about me in a terrible way. You uh, you do not fight for me. And then you want to sit here and make me sound so terrible to be around. Fight for you you don't. I, everything I've already explained. No. Ten fi- minutes. Before. No fight for you. I don't understand. Does you that- never ever do the work. Put in the work. If we're arguing about something, you don't ever try to get to the bottom of it. Figure out. Make the peace. You want to make it easy on you so you split you don't fight for me you don't fight when there's a problem you don't come to me you don't uh uh, make peace with me you never extend an olive branch you're never the bigger guy you're never the one that's like okay i'm gonna put my own feelings aside for a second and say this is bigger than us let's stop fighting you never are the one to come and knock on my door you take me for granted it's not true It's not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and that's a diff- whatever that's the different. fucking else at me. That's different. That's what one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really? I should just let you throw... I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether justifi- I throw pots and pans. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you, 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 you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who fucking did that. I don't fucking... I didn't... So that makes, so that makes sense. So that I... That's no. clear. Yeah. Do I do I, the only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking are you, threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based because on whether or that, not you come knocking on the door? I because that is a fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. How so a man would want to other? get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. How does one inform the other? Oh, man. Go home and listen to the tape. <laughs> Please. That's what they're for. I'm not going to sit here and promise you I'll never get mad at you. Or that you'll never fuck up. I know you want to live in a land, in a world where everyone just says yes to you and doesn't question you or criticize you ever. Don't ever. insult me like that, please. But that's not the case. It's not why you're with me. I am honest with you. I'm sorry. You don't want to be held accountable. I get it. I'm not sure you're so honest with me. Well, that's your... Watching you live in front of Travis last night. That's your problem, and that's your whole thing that you've created. So I'm not going to sit here and go over every fight we've had. I'm not going to refight this fight. You have something you're holding on to about Travis. Fucking go. Fucking go fuck. You know, go do it. Go run away together. I don't know what you're fucking holding on to, but you have created that. I have no part of that. I don't know what you're fucking latched onto in your brain, what stray hairs have fucking commingled and tangled in your brain to make you think you've really figured some sort of thing out. But this is not unusual for you. It's like almost every fight, I can pretty much guarantee you find something that you can like Let's let's ask Travis tonight. If you yes, why don't we him. invite Travis into our, our, our into our fucked up, broken ass, three fucking wheeled truck of a marriage? Why don't we crash it straight into the wall? Because no one knows us better than fucking Travis. You're just afraid that the truth will come out. What truth? 
that you lied. What are you fucking talking about? I didn't fucking even have a, a, a fucking thing to lie about. What are you fucking talking about? Every fucking fight, there's a new thing that you've convinced yourself no, is a lie. I said to you, you Amber, tell Travis what you just did. Did you just fucking, <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick, did you, uh -huh. did you? And you wouldn't say a fucking reason. I don't know what oh, you're talking so about. Lied. Never fucking, I see the never lie. fucking happened. I see the lie. You really should run with this. In fact, maybe you and Travis can like go and like, you know, do a tell-all about what a Wait, what, you stop. know an investigative stop study. Stop with the attitude, right? It's so fucking pointless, and you know it to sit here and fight about fucking whatever you think happened with Travis. It was no. a conversation. Listen, we I was not lying. I'm not going. You to. lied. You're an asshole. You're fucking full of shit. What lied lie? To asshole. When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I, um, big, big investigative study you've done. I'm not sitting here and no, fighting with you about the, the fight that After we had you last night. After you got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here because I, I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's coming to well, save me. No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis, to the rescue. No, that, no, that was the last one. You can go. Uh, you Go. That was the last insult. Yeah, you you do, you called me a liar, and yet yeah, yet I watched you lie. You called me a liar. I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was right there. There's no what you still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll talk but yet to, every single fucking time. We'll talk you know to you Travis. do this every single fucking we'll time. We'll talk to Chad. I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, Fuck that. You fucking. go fucking jerk go jerk him off. I don't care. I really could care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is, but run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are such fights. A baby. Because Grow you, the fuck up, because you start physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What? What? What's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? You're just by. Like, running away. And you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called the name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You are a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you can't give them. What are you doing with this? I'm giving you a Xanax in case you need it. Oh, thank you. I mean, you've given me this time here on the couch, and it's amazing that we can actually talk. But I never feel that safe. I constantly feel like you're about to fucking split, and I don't want to feel like that. You made me feel... Meaningless. You threw me out of the bedroom. Yeah, something. why wouldn't I? If I know that, that you're about to split, I mean that's what I'm saying. You I wasn't always about split. To split. You always split. So that's why wouldn't I mean I do blame myself for my actions. I was just laying in bed watching television, think. man. I, I was laying in bed watching television. I fucked up last night. I'm not going to defend myself, but I also can't blame me going to the finish line, and that's always where. It, so that's where I ended it right near the end there. You can tell Amber Heard gave uh, Johnny Depp a Xanax to calm him down. That's really a whole upper level of abusive, manipulative arguing techniques to actually drug your abuse victim into a more agreeable state so that you can just berate them into agreement is extremely abusive. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. And as always, please subscribe.